Senator Husakos. My question is for the government leader in the Senate. Senator Gold, yesterday we learned that the RCMP is investigating the outsourcing of a CBSA contract involving the same companies at the center of the $54 million arrive Kent boondoggle. The same boondoggle that saw Canadians who were exercising their right to return home slapped with fines as high as $8,500. And then they were threatened with more fines if they were caught breaking the quarantine as high as $750,000. It was bad enough when we thought these fees were being levied to pay for your government's complete failure in awarding this outrageous contract in the first place. But now it's looking less like a failure and more like a deliberate get-rich-quick scheme for those with connections to the Trudeau government. Senator Gold, what assurances can you give me and Canadians that Canadians were, uh, weren't unlawfully detained just so that your government finds uh, your, your government's friends can line their pockets with taxpayers' cap. Mm -hmm. Senator Gold. <clears throat> the assurance that I can give you, Senator Hussakis, is that the government, in all of its uh, measures uh, with regards to uh, 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 measures in place, were designed to protect uh, Canadians and to and to facilitate. Uh, 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 and facilitate entry uh, into Canada and the security of those who, uh, who entered and, and, and those who received them. Um, it is simply uh, in, inappropriate and unseemly uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, 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 to allege, frankly, or insinuate that this was about lining pockets. This was about protecting Canadians and doing the responsible thing in times of great, great crisis. Senator Husakos. The only assurances that this chamber and taxpayers have is that the RCMP is looking into it. Hopefully they'll get to the bottom of which pockets got lined. Senator Gold, given this latest news regarding the SAP, will your government finally do the right thing and cancel the outstanding fines that were issued as a result of this deeply flawed and, as we now know, fraudulent app. Would you apologize to Canadians who were unlawfully ordered into quarantine despite having done nothing wrong? Canadians like Joe Walsh and thousands of other Canadians that have been fined by... Senator Gold. <clears throat> well, thank you for your question. Uh, any uh, specific cases, of course, I cannot comment on, uh, but I certainly will take uh, your concerns uh, and uh, le legitimate questions, legitimate questions to the attention of the Minister.